Hello once again, thank you for watching the sewing back. I don't have a Bernina 220 machine. Um, you know, when you get a machine like this one that is giving you problems, I would suggest you to take it to a technician that really knows about these. Um, you know, the reason why I said that is because this machine here that I'm gonna make a sample and I finished already, was completely off everything from all the time it worked completely off. Took me about two hours to get it. You know, I mean, I used the gauges that I use from Bernina. So, you know, I'm, I'm a certified tech and I know this machine from fact, so I have no problem with that. You know, I just take the machine, I pull all my gauges the way it's supposed to be, boom, ready, try it, ready to go. But you know, the problem with this is that, you know, when you take these or you call someone that has no knowledge of it, what it makes it is worse, makes everything backwards. So the whole machine, I have to start from point one up to all the points that we are supposed to do when we work on the machine. So having a Bernina machine, take it to a certified tech, you know, don't, don't let anybody play with it. Because what they do right now, six different screws, I have to change it because they don't even have the right tools for it. You see, you know, you see an Allen wrench trying to get it loose. It's not the right thing. This machine uses torque. You got to use the right torque on the force to this, get the screws tight or to get the screws loose. You got to use the right torque. You don't need to tighten it like you, you know, that you're never going to get it loose again. So it's a big problem. You know, I'm going to put the machine back now together. Um, to sew, you know, put the pressure foot, the bobbin case and sew it, but you know, just when you have a machine that is a Brina, please, really bring it to a service tech or, you know, just wait until you get it done, but don't play with it, because you make it worse. I'm sure 100% that either someone from the shop or they call somebody who has no knowledge of Brina, working on it and make it worse. Let me do some samples and I will show you later. The sewing doctor on you. The Bernina machine that I just got, I'm working on it. <laughs> Everything, my God, everything is off. The needle bar high, the timing on the looper is high, the feed dog is off. Everything is off. The synchronizer here for the stepping motor is off. Right here, this is the synchronizer that does the stitching left to right, zigzag, whatever you want, off. The needle center off, everything off. So, I, you know, I mean, the customer said he just needed a tune up and I know this customer, I worked with them for many years, but you know, everything off change the two screws here because they were completely damaged everything was off believe it or not everything was off just crazy you know it's just it's just unbelievable that someone will take a machine like this if you don't know about this just let it go and bring it to a service department who knows what to do you know everything off now i put everything back together so i don't have to think of putting these machines together and take it off again to see if it works once I put all the covers back, everything's gonna be perfect. Everything's gonna be perfect. Cause like I said, Bernina uses gauges for everything. So when you use your gauges and you put all the timing right on the machines, that's it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to think that the timing is good or not. It will be just perfect. I'm gonna put everything back together now. I'm gonna make some samples, but you know, I, 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 I really recommend you to take this machine to a service department when you're working on the Bernina, if you own a Bernina, because this is a simple machine, but you know, when you get into the 500s, the 600, the 700 series, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's very crazy not to get this machine serviced by a professional. Let me put everything back together and make some samples for you. And I will show you just one shot, boom, everything will fine. So in that. The Bernina machine I just put back together. This is the 220 that I said was just somebody play with it and change everything, all the settings. I have put the machine back together now. And you see this? Just put everything back together and that's it. I don't have to guess if the machine is going to be working fine or if the timing is going to be fine. I know for a fact that once I do the machine with all the gauges and the way it needs to be done, the machine should work perfectly fine. No doubt about that. I know for a fact that this machine should work 100%. Now that I have tested all the stitches and everything is working perfectly fine, I'm going to put the machine back together and I should have another satisfied customer. Now, I do have two machines from the same customer. Once I finish this one, I'm going to put everything back together now. Just put the covers, clean it up and set it up. When I bring the other one up, I'm going to show you exactly how the other one is already now. 
So meaning that the same customer got the same person to do it, or the same customer try to fix both of the machine and make it even worse. The second one, it's completely off. Everything is off. I already looked at it, but I'm gonna put it back on the shelf to show you. Thank you for watching the show with Dr. Nio. Bye-bye. This is the second Bernina machine, Activa 220. I already did one and I wanna show you. See what the customer says? Timing it's off, bobby needle is off, needle is hitting the foot. If I try to go lower, look at the needle already. See how the needle is hitting? So this is something that you're not gonna see the machine do by itself, like the machine is gonna go completely off and get that timing completely off, no, never. Also, the feet dog are not working at the same time. As you can see how high this foot is. So they adjust the feeder, they try to adjust this and they couldn't do it. So no, 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 take it to the tech, bring it to city sewing. You guy here in New York who does it perfectly for you. Same thing here, do all the timing back together Using my gauges, using my knowledge, put everything back together, no problem. You're gonna see that later. The other machine that came in from the customer, you know, and the customer, you know, everything is off. And the reason why is because this is what is called the synchronizer right here. Look at this. It's broken. Doesn't matter what you do to that. If you don't change that, taking out the whole shaft and replacing it, well, look, missing screw there. See the screw missing there? All right, you see that screw is missing there? Only one screw here? That means that they try to take it off and either they broke it, and when this is broken, that's it. You can't do nothing. Have to change it, and then after that, every single time it needs to be back in perfect position, otherwise this is not gonna work. I could see that they try to fix it, and what they did, they actually broke these here. Doesn't matter how much I make it tight, I could make it, try to make it tight, you can see, when I try to make it tight, what happens? See? Screw is spinning, 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 spinning. So they broke it. That's it, they broke it, and now they couldn't put it back together. You know, hopefully I have these by the hundreds here. So I have so many of these synchronized. All been fine. This is the synchronizer you see here. If you don't have, if this part is damaged, it's broken the way this one is right now, here it's broken, that's a very, fragile part because he has a screw to hold it only I don't know why but that's just the way it works the machine is not gonna work now I replace it I put all the timings back and the second machine from the same customer it's now perfect just perfect everything works fine no more issues two machines same customer two machines both of them completely service by someone that did not know nothing about it and just make everything worse so now put everything back together all the timing all the screws that were missing there you go look at this the two machines bernina 220 completely finished beauty sample both of them working perfectly fine once again please 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 if you have a bernina have a service by a professional technician and stop with these people that they don't know anything and they want to say, yes, I can fix it, I can fix it. They make everything worse. A lot of screws broken, everything off, the timing off, the feed dog off, everything. But now, 100%, I show you the videos on them, I show you the samples on them, 100% working fine. They're showing that, 30 million, bye-bye,